The waveform of the video signal is complicated and includes the base image signal as well as the sequence signal which adopts different standards such as NTSC or PAL. Such signals can be measured using specialized instruments such as video measuring instruments or vector displays. But we can also use a general purpose oscilloscope for quick and easy measurements. Regal digital oscilloscopes provide trigger functions that can simplify basic measurements on video signals. Our test board has an NTSC standard video signal. If edge trigger is used by default, the waveform shakes and cannot be displayed stably. To stabilize the waveform display, enable the video trigger function. To get a better observation of the waveform details of the video signal, select a larger memory depth. For the DS4000 series, the maximum memory depth is 140 megapoints. At this point, set the trigger type to video trigger, the signal source to the current channel, the video polarity to positive or negative, here negative is selected, and then the sync type can be set to all lines, line num, odd field, or even field. For the NTSC video standard, the instrument usually triggers on the specified line in or the odd or even field, so here line num is selected. Then set the number of the specified line and set the video standard to NTSC. Adjust the trigger level properly, and at this point the video signal is stably triggered. Many Regal digital oscilloscopes provide multi-level gray display and different brightness levels that can be used to indicate the frequency of occurrence for different parts of the signal. Experienced users can quickly judge the quality of the signal and discover abnormal situations during measurement. We can use the delayed sweep mode of the oscilloscope to further observe the video signal details. In delayed sweep mode, you can view the whole signal and also zoom in to a specific part of the signal. You can select the range to be enlarged by adjusting the horizontal time base and set the enlargement position by adjusting the horizontal position. If we want to measure some basic parameters of the video signal, we can use the auto parameter measurements or cursor measurement functions to make further tests. This concludes the introduction to using the video trigger of a Regal oscilloscope to measure video signals. The key points include selecting the proper video trigger and the video standard for your signal, set the proper trigger conditions, adjusting the trigger level to stabilize the waveform, and make parameter measurements using auto or cursor measurement functions.